Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want to quickly say that this season is uh, what this season is about and why I do this and how it will maybe evolve in the future. So uh, I decided that I wanted my own career mode in Circuit Superstars, but because it isn't in the game yet, there's only this arcade mode thing. Um, I, cr I decided to create my own season to compete for it myself. Uh, I think this is also a very good way to test the AI and what they are capable of and get consistent in the laps myself. Um, so this first season will be 8 races uh, with the same car class, it will be the, the season six, uh, the 60s GP car. Um, I also have a point distribution that is different from the in-game one when you do the arcade mode. So it gets a little more or less exciting. Um, I'll, I'll see what I can tweak maybe next season about that. But uh, yeah, I think this is all what you guys should know for now. Um, during the races I'll commentate my thought process and mistakes and so on. So you guys can uh, yeah learn from it as well. And yeah, that's, that's it for now. Um, sit back, relax and enjoy the race. Bye. So yeah, Copperwood, first race of the season. With the uh, Ospreys from the year of 67. And uh, yeah, first uh, qualifying. Let's see how this one goes. I really want to see what this AI is capable of in this season. How consistent you gotta be to beat them. So yeah, the first lap is uh, mostly just warm up, getting to know the car, getting a feeling, grip. Uh, the speed you can get, uh, all those stuff. Uh, the weather conditions, although they are always the same in this game. But yeah, let's get a good qualifying lap here. It is wide as possible here, get a good turn one. Going a little bit wide, but it's fine. Getting the curbs, trying to hit the apex, but going way too wide here. You see Victor is actually very fancy. Um, getting a good turn here. A good exit, good speed. Getting very closer to the wall, but that's how it should be. And this final corner really makes or breaks your, uh, your lap. So let's see where we end up. We end up on P2 with a 28, 28.4, and Victor gets a 28.3. So he's just slightly faster than me. So we'll see how we handle this. How we handle this race, what our strategy would be like. Alright, the race of Copperwood, the full track, as you saw before, 24 laps. Let's uh, let's get this race over with. Let's let's see how, how far we can get and uh, if we can get Victor of that P1. 3, 2, 1, go. A very good start. Good turn 1, get on a little bit on the grass. But Victor is, is also having a really good start here. Really hitting the apex right now. See the whole train on the mini map. Oh yeah, there's a little bit going on in the back, but uh, that's not not part of my race. So we are getting really close to Victor. Really cutting the cutting the apex, cutting the car, cutting over the grass almost. As I do a 92.0 in the first lap. So our mission right now is getting close to Victor and trying to overtake him. As I go wide, and that's the uh, left-hander again. And Kenji is really catching up right now. Getting really close to me, and I don't like that feeling. So you gotta be really consistent here. Victor with 28.4, almost as, as fast, it's faster than my qualifying lap actually. Getting really good pace up. So my goal is not gonna be that easy. I'm losing a little bit of control here. But still managing to follow Victor. As we kinda go away from the pack. NG seems to be struggling and struggling a little bit here. But yeah. But this part is mostly just trying to be as consistent as possible. Getting close to Victor and making not so many mistakes, as less mistakes as possible. 
and really trying to hit those apexes, keeping my, my momentum clean, hitting the breaking points, or like here just letting over the gas. And you see I'm really getting closer. As I miss the breaking point, go way too wide again in this left hand. This seems to be my weak spot. Again, so close to the barriers. Hitting the apex and staying close to victory. This race is not gonna be easy. One mistake can really mess up the whole race. So going into lap 6 now. Again, the left hander where I make the same mistake always, but not now. Get it clean. But I go way too wide here in this hairpin. Really annoying. Trying to get a clean exit. Uh, also going wide here, so I, I think I, I might, I'm noticing the, the tire wear. But we are running away from Kenji and Mia. So that's a good thing. Here going too wide, hitting the barrier, so Victor again can escape. And again this left hand. This is not my strongest point. This though, oh, beautiful hairpin. Getting the straight line speed, getting in behind Victor. As close as possible, but not yet there. So going into lap 8, uh, we have 35 fuel left and 45, uh, 54 uh, bioware. So we might check to pit because this is a 2, two stopper, mostly. The one stop is barely possible. So we might go in the next lap because I have enough. It seems like Victor is going too. Let's see what Victor does here. As we see on the top left you can see Leah is uh, went in the pit stop. So that's an interesting stop. Uh, as, as well with some other people. Um, now, I should have went in this lap, but I, I, I reckon I didn't. Um, I don't remember why, I thought like, yeah, I can overcut him and faster. See, I'm always catching up. Victor is going in the pits. Going the normal pit stop strategy. Now, I am low on fuel, I get a low fuel warning. Um, I need to finish this lap, get in the pits and like, do it as fast as possible. Getting clean through this lap is very important. Now I see Kenji dropped all the way out of top 4, out of my watch list. Well, I don't know what happened to him, but Leah is now on P3 and I gotta watch, watch her. Now the pit stop is very important to get right. If you waste time here, your race can be lost just as easily as you won it, or would have won it. So going out of the pit stop, I actually have to let Leah pass because yeah, she was in the racing one and I had to wait. So now I have to pass two people to get pit Leah and Victor. So just focusing on Leah right now. Hitting her in the hairpin because I didn't expect her to break. Again so close to the barriers. And yeah, trying to just catch up to Leah. But that doesn't seem to be much of a problem here. As Victor does a 28.386 in this lap, which is an amazing pace. Trying to get on the inside here, but doesn't work out quite as I wanted to. Getting on the inside again, but yeah, not enough space to do that. And now I just have to be patient. Maybe next lap, because here is where he yeah, loses a lot of time, so maybe next lap I can uh, take advantage of that. Now just trying to keep up, staying close and uh, what I can do next lap. Again, this left hander is so hard to hit right. Now I'm so close behind. I touch her a little bit but I wanted to, didn't want her to pass her here. I want to pass her here so I go to the left, take the inside and I get the move done. And now I need to catch up back to Victor. But she's a very difficult task if you ask me. Look on the minimap, he's so far ahead. Now I need to get his left hander again. Right, 10 more times to do that. Then I really need to, to hit it every time to catch up. 
But then again, there's another pit stop soon, and I uh, might have to pit a lap earlier than me and undercut me again. The straight line speed here is so insane, hitting the apex, getting the straight line speed as well. Exit is very important. Here not so much, but you can lose a lot of time if you go wide. Getting the hairpin right into the straight section is also very important. Now you can see I'm getting a little closer to Victor, because I, I might have the open space now and I don't have to watch who's behind me and defend my position, but Leah going into the pit stop again, as I told, as I said before. But I reckon this is two laps too early for me, so I, I have to stay out. Because if I pit now, I don't think I will make the end of the race with my fuel. So yeah, getting this was a very nice hairpin here. To the last corner, over the finish. And I can't seem to, to catch up. I did the fastest lap though, I did 28.2. Uh, the previous lap I think. Now oh, yeah. I spin, I spin in my favorite hairpin of this track. Ah, uh, I'm not happy now. You can notice that I'm going right here as well. Victor, in the pit stop, so going in for an undercut because he had enough fuel. <coughs> Probably, he, he pitted a lap before so he could do two more laps. So now I have to pit as well. But then again, I'm questioning myself because um, Leah is also it has also pitted already, so he's trying to get as well. And now I'm in the pit stop, the final pit stop of the race. You can see in the minimap, Victor is very close. I'm getting this pit stop right, good stop. But Victor is here already. I just had to, here, I just had to go. I just had to go. Leon is in front of me again, so there's no way in 5 laps that I'm catching up to Victor and overtake him and Leon. So, my next mission, just try to get that P2 in because P1 is not gonna work. Getting close to Leon, trying me inside again, I know where I can overtake him now. Maybe in the straight line, look at the straight line speed. Getting on the inside and, and kind of touching, but kind of a clean overtake as well. I don't know why. Now this left hander again going a little bit wide, but it's fine. This this hairpin is, is so satisfying. If you it right. Getting close to the wall, to the barrier. Now pushing towards Victor. Don't know if it's gonna work out though. We'll have to see. We'll have to nail every corner from now on to even catch up with them. Now the left hand again. Through the hairpin. It's so satisfying to watch. Now I'm getting away from there. Quite, but not as quite as fast as I would like, like it to be. Um, I get a little bit of the grass here, losing a little bit of speed and traction. Again, this left hander, I, I got not nailed it, not nailing it, but yeah, good enough. Here I maintain my speed, all the momentum gained is kept going through the last corner. And we have two more laps to go. And I'm still, I still managed to have the fastest lap of the race, but Victor is just so consistent on this track. It's just not normal. Getting through this hairpin again, getting real close to the barriers, hitting the apex. Going through final corner, getting it clean. Done. One more lap. Uh, I'll have to secure the P2 from now on. Uh, Victor is way too, too far uh, I'm way too far behind Victor. As I go wide again in this uh, left hand. Uh, uh, 
Now I'm pushing through, getting close to the barriers, knowing that I'm gonna be the P2. Or even farther back if I fuck it up, but I get a clean I get a clean race. I managed to secure the P2 out of the Yeah, out of the qualifying, but yeah, Victor. What a race from him. Really insane. Insane consistency and the speed as well. As you'll see in a second, his fastest lap was a 28.3. That's it. It's insane. It's faster than my, my qualifying pace, so yeah. So yeah, Victor with the victory in the first uh, first race of the season. Uh, I get second place and uh, Leah, who actually managed to overtake Ian. Ian, or who was it? Kenji? Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, now, let's look at the scoreboard, the standings. Victor, 26 points. He managed to get P1 and take the victory home. Uh, I get to... I get the fastest lap of the race, so I get 1.2 and I have second place, so 20 points. And Leah in third. And the rest of the grid follows, as you see on the screen. So yeah, very exciting race. I hope uh, you guys enjoy this series. And you will enjoy the next races as well. I'll, I'll try to keep it exciting. I'll try to keep it um, as fun as possible, also for myself. But yeah. Let's go to the next race then. And I'll see you in the next video.